Hello everyone, welcome back to The Budget Sportsman. Thank you so much for joining me on today's video. Every year, at the end of the year, I like to post a video about my favorite trail camera pictures and videos of the year. And that's what we are going to do today. Now, if you've watched these videos in past years, you know that I normally include a lot of trail camera pictures and videos in my highlight reel for the year. This year, I'm gonna do it a little differently, and I'm only gonna give you my top 10 favorite trail camera videos of this year. If you're interested in seeing more of my favorite captures for this last year, go down in the description below and you're going to find a link to a new channel that I created called Trail Cam Central. And I'm gonna be posting more trail camera content over there, including a highlight reel that's gonna be much longer of a lot of my favorite captures for the year. With all that out of the way, let's get into my top 10 favorites. Not necessarily in any particular order, but I will tell you my favorite is at the end. So let's go get into it with number 10 for this year, which was a sequence of clips that I captured down in Florida. I was in Florida for a few weeks, took a trail camera and set it up over a watering hole. I think the first or second night that it was there, this big bear came into the watering hole. And then the second night, the bear came back. And instead of going to the watering hole, he decided he was going to feast on my camera. Now, fortunately, the camera did survive, but not without a little bit of damage. But I just thought it was really cool uh, to capture footage in a place totally different than what I'm normally used to running trail cameras and to capture a nice big bear on camera as well. Number nine on the list, you're gonna to have to excuse the quality because it was taken on a very old trail camera, but this was on some public land where there's a lot of terrain that comes together. That's over the last couple of years been a really good spot for funneling deer movement. Last year, a beaver moved in and actually created a beaver dam in that area and dammed up the whole little valley there and created even more funneling effect in that area. So I had to put a trail camera in that spot. But I, what I thought was really neat was on a hot day this summer when a bunch of deer came in and were actually splashing around in that beaver pond. Not what I expected to see, but was a really cool capture in my mind. Number eight on my list this year is this capture of a bunch of deer out in this field. Now it's not uncommon for us to see a lot of deer in this field, but usually they're more spread out, either in this field or the adjacent field. It's kind of unusual to see this many deer all in one spot at once on camera. And what was also really neat is you can see there's at least three bucks in this field. There's two small ones that are sparring and another one just beyond them who's kind of watching them like, hey, I'm not getting involved in your mess. But I just thought this was a cool capture to get that many deer on camera all at once. So number seven on my list is going to be this doe. Now, why did I include a doe on the list? Well, as you notice, she's got a big white spat patch on her side as well on her neck. And I think she's just really unique. I actually saw her for the first time in archery season and then later on got her on camera a couple times through the rest of the year. It's kind of unusual to be able to identify a specific doe. And so for that reason, I thought this was a pretty neat capture. Coming in at number six is this clip of a buck that's a pretty big buck for our area. But notice how he spooks. Now the only thing that I can figure out is he must have spooked when he got right next to the trail camera. This camera had been there for a little while. It had rained. I would have assumed that it washed my scent away, but for some reason, he definitely spooked when he got right up next to that camera. As I like to say, they don't get this big by being dumb. Number five this year is this series of clips taken in mid-October over a scrape. Now the first clip, you see a nice sized buck. He's got a big fork on one side, which makes him really unique. Uh, he's working a scrape. The next clip, you see a different buck working that scrape and the first buck down at a different scrape. And then in the final clip, you see these two bucks sparring. Now it's really unusual for us to see bucks fighting or sparring in our area and very rarely is it ever aggressive. So either way, it's really fun to capture this kind of behavior on camera. So number four on my list is this clip where I got three bucks on camera all at the same time. Now I don't know if I can ever remember a time that I've gotten three bucks on camera all at the same time in the past. So this is pretty cool. And this is right before rifle season. So a couple of the guys who were hunting that property were getting pretty excited about this clip. Again, it was really neat to see them posturing up, those ears laid back, bristling up, and even tickling antlers a little bit, and just doing those things that bucks do. Number three is this series of clips taken during the rut. Now this first one, you can see a pretty wide buck. I know the quality is a little bit low and he's a distance from the camera, but he's a pretty wide, pretty big buck. And then in the next clip, you can actually see a doe and a buck walk right under the camera. And both of these bucks are pretty good sized bucks. Now there's some clips that I didn't include here from this sequence, but as you watch the whole sequence of events, it was clearly a hot doe and at least three different bucks, maybe more, and two of them were really nice shooters for our area. So I really wish that I'd been sitting in the tree that day in that particular area because it would have been a fun show to watch. Coming in at number two on my list is this clip, which I've shown in the channel before if you've been following along, and this is a clip uh, of a buck that was actually shot and we just simply didn't know if he had lived or died. We didn't have any conclusive evidence to the end of the hunt. And so we actually got this clip of him with his broadhead hole, but very much alive and well. So it was really awesome to get the trail camera video that kind of gave us a little bit of closure on a hunt that hadn't gone the way that we had hoped. Number one on my list this year, you've seen this one too if you've been following along, but this is something that I've never captured before on camera. And so it makes it my favorite for this year for sure, but maybe even my favorite of all time. And it was where I actually captured 
uh, myself shooting a buck on trail camera. And it was on the opposite side of the buck from where I was. You can see me up in the tree. You can see me shooting the buck. And so really cool capture that I've never been able to do before. Now, if you haven't seen the video of that hunt, please go check it out. I'll leave a link up in the corner. One of my favorite hunting videos I've ever posted, certainly my favorite hunting video of this year. And it makes the connection between the buck that was wounded and the buck that I just shot on that last clip. So I hope you enjoyed these videos. Again, if you wanna see more of this stuff, go to the link down in the description and go check out my new channel called Trail Cam Central. And I would be honored if you'd go give me a subscribe over there as well. Hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Until next time, remember to get off YouTube and get outdoors into God's great creation.